missing heaven came down when he listened to the Navajo. Thank you again. All right, we're uh, now back in the Roman. <clears throat> uh, so I hope you're doing good with that. Uh -huh. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you again. Uh, this uh, evening, we pray you bless our study of the Word of God. We do what uh, some highlight on what has happened, and we pray you bless with it, us with it. Well, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Good evening, Anna. Adam and Christ. Romans chapter 5, 12 through 21. It might be kind of long, but it's uh, going to be okay. And so, uh, we'll just go ahead and start. By my number one point here is Adam is, by Adam is sin and death, verse 12 through 14. And that uh, has to do with what we have read back in chapter 1, actually 3, and verse 19 through about 23. So, wherefore, that's uh, meaning that you said something and you are going back <clears throat> to what you have said as by one man sin enter into the world and death by sin so death pass upon all men for all have sin in no man uh, just had one person in the beginning of time uh, make a mistake uh, broke god's law of uh, not eating the fruit of the tree and so by that one son, uh, man became a sinner. And they 
uh, it brought about a domino effect on all mankind. Uh, Psalm, the book of Psalm, that uh, a child as he is born, he is in strength, as he say, in strength from the womb. They, <clears throat> they just began to speak lies about uh, everything. So man, uh, we can, you can't uh, con reform a man. And uh, that's why uh, sin came, death came, and then uh, because man is a sinner. no Ado and no nest, a bahagit, a benina. A court no nest, and that arts of a guest. Harlot, and that arts of bahagit, Lana. A hood only nays cheeda, it be your cheeda, but the cheena, psalm either. A court, the net, and had she, though, and us. So a bahagit a at a a hano. The whole even next that or cast so a you see. And need a penda part of an ana. How late out the yin the yin car the yin go. Out of bahagit a joshago. A coordinator knows it for a yaqua be yet another door art. You know, God is holy and he hates sin. And why would God like that want to pay for a man? And even to the point of uh, God sending his own son in our place so he can save us from our sins. It's just amazing that he can do that. You know, God in his holy state give us a chance to go to heaven. And that is good. I mean, I like that. And uh, if there was ever a chance, I'll jump at it. And that's the, what I did back in 1975. Of course, not that 13, for until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is in, not imputed when there is no law. Meaning, uh, you know, from uh, Adam all the way to Moses, uh, you know, sin was uh, in authority and then uh, and then when there is no sin it says that uh, I mean where there is no law sin is not imputed unto a man and uh, so that had been going on. You know, God loves us so much that he was able to make it possible for us to begin God. Although you're Moses. Stanley hit on this in the yet a shaila. And uh, so we read 14. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. And uh, you know, they call Adam the first Adam, and the Lord is the second Adam. If you go to 1 Corinthians 15, they'll tell you that, you know, the first one 
uh, actually brought death. The second one brought life. And uh, so that's what what is uh, all about. Akodi no net ipohad lehu. And do most na ado unta. Eya. Do e erm si hangit ala to si tante. Akonde. Eya. Art so in he. Atra. Number two, Christ is by Christ is righteousness and life. Number two, by Christ is righteousness and life. Verse 15, but but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one may one many be dead much more, the grace of God and the gift by Christ by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ hath abounded unto many. You know, uh, Christ ki asa o tsi ki peni na eben na si chod aji aji ke ehli ke hwalona ado the nasi ha o hayi na nasna a hot out o hayu di ke nika jo pa ki ben na si eso aji ke pato li ke jo pa ki Jesus Christ, Christ, by him righteousness can come and real life can begin in him. You know the Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me, he said. So we have that. And then uh, number three is uh, Adam's offense. And uh, you know, uh, the same reading, you know, Adam is. Uh, uh, he sinned. So on the opposing side is the Lord having free gift. And uh, so he has that. And anybody in the world can receive uh, this gift. Man does not work for a gift. Man can only receive or reject that gift and that's what that uh, the great white throne judgment is going to be about to have you received the why and uh, why didn't you receive it probably will be the question and or maybe what did you do with that gift that was offered you you know the lord uh gives us the gift of salvation the gift of uh, salvation. So uh, Adam's sin or disobedience brought sin and death. And then by Christ's obedience that he fulfilled the law and died on the cross for us. He was made a curse for us. So we will have the free gift and the number four is that effect of Adam's sin is contrast with the effect of Christ's obedience. Verse 16, and not as if, or not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift or the judgment was by 
one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many uh, uh, offenses unto justification. So in other words, uh, Adam's sin just uh, caused death. First Adam, you know, if he didn't sin, uh, we wouldn't probably be uh, preaching about uh, salvation and uh, what sin can do to man. So he failed and then uh, Christ came as the second Adam and by his obedience, well, we can have that gift. And that gift is good and uh, we can uh, be in heaven one day. And so I hope uh, you're thinking on that. It, uh, <clears throat> it is simple and we have gone through that before, that, uh, you know, we are talking about the law, that it didn't save us, works didn't save us. And uh, when Jesus came, he paid the full price. And uh, so he made, was made sin. And uh, because of uh, his, her, his obedience, were able to have a chance at salvation. Oh, the quite Adam see the shenanigan, the shenanigan verse as taught the hagi. Ado Christ a kehosh umid. Elsa Adam only. Ado na kigon Adam a Christ. Elsa hagi isi hibe no net has ne. Ado na kigon ye ya banasu. Ina a kehosh umido. So if I had it, it has a name so that it no bother who it not. I would have it been in Benin, not open Nazi style day. The heart sells son. Number five, the two reigns are contrast in verse 17. Okay, for if by one man's Offense, death reigned by one much more, they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ, neither. Aid Asa Yet of a lazily Ahnab Lahadet Ah Aid O Hayu at your pap Nahotla Aid Ajik A cookie at Epo or the Kahagi Abenahot Niko told later when you get Asa. And that's it, Jesus Christ, Nina. I would not keep the whole nation, or yes, keep. There are two that reigns. Sin reigned by Adam. And then life or righteousness in life are reigned by Jesus Christ. So that's a two. Two roads for the man is uh, walking, living a, a life that's going to end in death and living a life that is going to for, be forever. So those are already granted unto us at birth probably just to die and go to hell. But if we trust the Lord, then we're going to live and live a life of righteousness and then and get a chance to see the Lord in heaven. 
Jesus Christ. It's not a all right, and then two, two one X. It's a rain, na na ki. It's a hot day, but it's a hot day. And on next or in na, na konike na ki a hot in na ki bo na. The net on this. Therefore, as by one offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification. So like you were saying, two roads. Uh, one offense will lead you to judgment. The other, uh, other's righteousness is the gift of salvation, grace, to be cleared upon your, your sin, declared right. That's why you call justification when you uh, declare right, you're justified. None of verse 19, for as by one man's disobedient, many were made sinners. So by obedience of one shall many be made righteous, neither. Then, Asa took a horse eat of the Nina. Eight and that, oh, how you and he see he does me. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us in the back at the verse 6. And so he, he made it possible to enter into one of that those two acts, one for sin, one for righteousness, one for hell, one for heaven. And so that's what we're seeing in those uh, two uh different uh, verses. All right, then number seven is law and grace is contrast. You know, law is something less a roll off. Roll off. I had a message on law and grace how they try to beat each other. But Grace uh, actually was the conqueror. And uh, so that's what they were going to read in verse 20. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, Grace did much more abound. You know, uh, in this world of ours, you know, the, when law came, then uh, people became lawbreakers. And then the sin was actually just increasing. Like this morning, I was saying that 
that man is getting worse and worse and trying to do away with uh, the laws of the land and with justice. They don't want to have that. And then, and uh, so when you have some law, people are going to be lawbreakers. And then if that is true, then grace is going to be bigger. And that's why we're, we're here in St. Rich uh, telling you that we would like you to be saved. Come to know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, even though right, right this moment people are traveling out of pace, uh, coming back, have, having spent uh, the whole weekend on the lake or around the lake camping out and fishing. Now they're heading back to Phoenix and when the rock ship brought uh, even to New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. And a uh, man doesn't come to church here at Cedar Ridge uh, readily. They just go by, they go hunting to, in Jacob Lake and they go by. And yet we're saying that we, we would, uh, would like you to be saved. And we have seen uh, people uh, on the road get saved here. And uh, so we would uh, want that. And uh, we'll continue to do that, even though the world in their own uh, way break the law, but the, 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 that's the more reason that we're preaching the gospel. The more reason for us to say, you need to get saved, the more reason uh, to go into the jails and tell them that, that they need to get saved. They can be saved. And uh, that's what we're saying to the hospital. And uh, I have people come from the hospital that uh, get my gospel tracts and take it back. And uh, say, I'll distribute this to the, to the patients. And uh, they say, we need to pray for them. So we have Christians uh, that are working over there. So the, the more reason, even though sin is uh, so prevalent, so overburdening, yet we're saying grace is greater. You know, God uh, can save people even in our time. Don't be God, that's not Nita. Quandabilahne, <laughs> A quarter of a minute, I call never sight you. Eight or church in the Kata or laid that is Lord Sago. So when he had over then, so now eight was in that jay. Thought on the hot dash horse. A one the Kadin laid a horse doggy and that jay, thought the Ben Sago and that jay. Ado so lay on that jay. A corn neck. As I go with the eye, Jacob, and he got up out of his neck. A corn eight sealed down a cordy Paul, a hot hour join of an inna. A do hot alki that in town a dee has tando she babe had a in tanana gishin. A co yego titna cre. A co yego joke by you in tobin he laughed or less. Danne. Then net of a snow by a dash. It is not saying that send more so you. 
grace can be greater than your sin. That's not the idea. The idea is uh, that the kind of sin you have got has a bigger grace than that. He can save you. But they misinterpret that to say Paul is telling us to go ahead and sin more. So grace can actually multiply uh, bigger than our sins. That, that's not the reason. You know, man can misapply uh, the scripture and make it say what they like it to say. And that's, what not, uh, that's not what uh, he was saying here. And uh, so then we go to verse 21, that as sin reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ uh, we ask people to uh, not forsake the assembling of themselves together. You know, the moment righteousness came in, righteousness out to rule, out to reign. But man miss church and then let sin reign. So that means uh, sin can reign from the moment you were born to the day you die, or righteousness can reign from the moment you got saved to the day you die and, and keep on going into heaven and you'll be able to live that life again. But for the sinner, sin is going to end and they're going to suffer into eternity. So no bagit a a bohalint a chana and no nature. Ado such a da forget a choco ebony nacho a inna by a tea and no nest with big in not all in nape in not a forget a cheese a dinner a hagi. At your slab, Jido, it better stay ya. A teacher church on the sea bed or crack out as I just cut so then then. A bed bed or crack a bed, she now lay Jesus not thou ill or thou a nun, it or your asho and daughter. A be hedged or crack lay your asho. Teacher so snad the thought I sag it a bed or crack or nature it eyes. a crop is on his head, net or open nash, just or don't get in tag water. So a nas holds the shot to no safe on ya. If you didn't get uh, all of what uh, I try to give you, then uh, I'm sure you'll grow more. 
and then you'll catch it somewhere along in your Christian life. And that's what we're trying to work at. And uh, then uh, we'll maybe uh, go in other places where it's more like uh, just one thought uh, per verse that, that sticks out for uh, many reasons. And uh, this is more like sin versus uh, righteousness, grace, and law, and Adam, and Christ. So we covered that to see that that one side is good. And I pray you're on that side of salvation. So thank you for this evening uh, that, that you're here again. We do pray that you'll have a safe week this week. So let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for the hour that we're here. We pray for help for those people that are listening. And we do pray for their understanding if they didn't get it. First is that they need to get saved. So light will shine to them and uh, they will see the verses as it is and began to grow in you. So bless, for we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>